Today we're going to go over how to add Proctorio to Moodle and to one of your exams. So I'll share my screen. And let me know once you can see my Moodle instance. You're good. We can see it. So Proctorio is a tool that runs directly through your Moodle LMS. Uh, it runs as just a Chrome browser extension, which is this little shield right here. And then also as just an LTI tool added to your course. Once you have these two components, the next step is to add it to a Moodle test or exam. I already have my exam here. Demo quiz, I'm just going to go ahead and edit settings. Proctorio does require you to have a name for your quiz. Uh, it can be anything like exam one, exam two, anything like that. And then the next step, you'll just have to give it a time limit. It can be anything up to eight hours. And if you keep scrolling down, you'll notice Proctorio settings right here. All you'll simply do is click on that. And then you have the ability to enable Proctorio Secure Exam Proctor. Proctorio does manage the password on your exam. So you may notice this right off the bat. This is something that Proctorio manages. Students will never need to know it, and you will also not see it as instructors. So don't be alarmed when you notice that. Um, and then the real meat and potatoes of Proctorio is going to be our exam settings right here. You'll notice as I go over these, there's a green question mark as I hover over just about any of these options. So there is quite a bit of information here, but essentially this is broken down into your recording options, meaning these are the options you have to choose to record your students. Sorry, I'm assuming we got a couple of messages. Um, the lockdown options are going to allow you to lock down the browser. So if you do not want your students leaving the Moodle site, you have the ability to lock it down so they're not able to do so. And then our verification options essentially ensure that the exam, the hardware for your students, if it's something like you're recording their video, their audio, or their screen is being captured. And you also have additional options like the auto ID check or getting a signature as well. So it is very customizable. And just by the click of a button, you can enable additional settings or turn off settings. It is very, very user friendly. And it's all just through the Google Chrome browser. That's all the students and faculty will need. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, what happens once the exam is completed by my students? Well, let me just go ahead and save this and we'll walk through that as well. So once your students have completed your assessment, the next step will be that you have the ability to review it. To do so, you're going to stay within Moodle. Just make sure you have our little extension icon installed and secure exam proctors enabled. So you just open the exam you'd like to review. And it'll say view Proctorio gradebook. From here, it's going to then populate all of the attempts for that particular quiz or exam. So any quiz that you may have given, this is what you're then going to see. Now, again, there's some additional information here that we'll go over briefly, um, but essentially this is broken down by your students' names, when they took the exam, their attempt number, and their score. Now, we pulled the score directly from Moodle, so you don't have to worry about grading anything again. Then on the far right-hand side is the suspicion level. Now, the suspicion level allows you, as the instructor, to determine what you deem suspicious. To do so, we're going to go into the second tab here at the top and go into your Proctorio settings. From here, you can customize these behavior metrics to flag for different levels of suspicion. Now, we do have those preset options here at the top you can start off with. And if you scroll down, you can really toggle these higher and lower depending on what you deem suspicious. Maybe navigating away, it's an open note exam, so navigating away isn't too flagged, and they're allowed notes. We turn these down and go back to the Proctorio gradebook. You notice it immediately changed that suspicion level. So these can always be changed at any moment as you're viewing the attempts, just depending on what you deem suspicious. 
And that's essentially how Proctorio allows you as an instructor to determine which student's behavior uh, may not be following your instructions. Then as I open one of these attempts, I'm just gonna open this one here, the highest one. When you open it, you have your student recording through the video here and the screen recording on the right. Then at the bottom is the actual flags itself. So the ones we turned in red are going to populate in red here. Now, of course, within the video recording, you can simply press play and watch the entire duration of the exam to get an idea as to what the student is doing at any moment. And then you'll notice this is where the little cursor is right here in red being flagged. The very first Proctorio icon gives you a description. So this is where you're able to go into the incident log and see why the student's being flagged as well as jump to those intervals. Another very useful feature in this uh, Proctorio gradebook is what we call it, is this open book icon. This is where you're going to be able to make any of your own notes as you're reviewing the attempt, such as student searching answers. And then you can then color coordinate that flag and save it. If you're looking to verify the test taker's identity, we also have that option as well. Although you can see I am being flagged for my ID since I did not scan it properly. But this is another customizable feature for you as instructors to utilize. Now that is for the most part a really brief overview of the gradebook um, and how to set up an exam. Let me log out of my instructor account and I'll sign in and show you all what the student side looks like. So let me just sign in as a student. So for the student side, it's very similar to how they already take exams in Moodle. All they're going to do is simply log into their account. Looks like mine's just taking just a couple extra seconds. Once they log in, they're just going to go to their course. Mine is called Calvin 101. Once they're in their course, it should be just like normal. They're just gonna to go to the exam that they would like to take with Proctorio. Now they'll get this message right here. Your exam is monitored by Proctorio. That's just us being transparent with the students, letting them know in case they have questions, they can always learn more about what Proctorio is. And then I'm just gonna click reattempt quiz since I have taken this one already. We'll get this notification, just simply telling them uh, what's gonna be collected. We also have links to our GDPR, FERPA and other, other regulations and what's not allowed. And then there's also a high visibility mode. Then I'm just gonna simply select start exam pre-checks. Here it's verifying that uh, the recording options I have enabled are working properly asking me to share my screen. Now, of course, if we have more lenient, if we have more severe lockdown options on, I would not be able to get this far, but just for this overview, we are a little less uh, locked down. Once I pass this, it then turns on my camera and it's going to walk me through the rest of the pre-check process. Just another second when screen sharing and trying to take an exam, it does use a little bit of, use a little of the bandwidth. And there we go. And then the next step here, I'm just gonna go ahead and click next. This is just kind of our, your exam's about to begin page. So use the restroom, get water, get comfy and get ready. Then here's that ID check. So students will be prompted to show a picture of their photo ID if this is something you're looking for and it'll just scan automatically for them. And then this last page here, this is our exam agreement page. It essentially says the student is who they say they are and that they're gonna take the exam with honesty and integrity. And also gives our terms of service as well as privacy policy.
think we may have lost you a little bit, Calvin. And then the shield icon also still acts as avenue to support for students. The calculator can be put on screen and be moved around wherever they need, as well as the whiteboard. So that's kind of the functionality on the student side. This is very useful for faculty, especially if you're using class time for more instruction. Uh, this is a great solution for you to give your exams or quizzes. Uh, that way they don't have to use up class time. So it's a really good feature for that sense. Um, I think we have a couple minutes left. Did we have until 4.15? Am I at time already, James? Sorry. Kamika, how, how much time do we have, do you think? Um, maybe have like a few more minutes. Yeah, three more minutes. Uh, but this is essentially the uh, student section of it. Uh, it is very user friendly. Once they're into the exam, they're going to be recorded here. They can see what's going on, on uh, through their video feed uh, as they take the exam. Uh, they'll their notable little timer. Then once they submit, so I'll just go ahead and answer these questions. And we are located in Scottsdale. My screen share might cut out, so I will reshare that if that happens. But once a student submits, the tempo and recording ends and are no longer being recorded by Proctorio. So let me reshare my screen because, of course, I did that. Um, and then the rest of it's all going to be the same. So um, if you do allow your students to see their incorrect or correct results, they'll see those here. Um, if not, then they will not. Uh, but for the most part, it's all the same. So the normal settings you have in Moodle are still going to populate here. Uh, nothing's really going to change on the student side of things. And this is just Proctorio saying we just did a good thing. It's a sustainability little link that we send. Uh, but yeah, it is, again, it is really user friendly on the instructor and student side. Not much changes for the students. Uh, one difference is students will not see the secure exam proctor link, um, it hides from them automatically. Um, but we do also offer these student guides as well um, in case they have any questions. Calvin, can I can I interrupt you for a quick second? Of course. So, with with faculty, they see they see the the ability to look at IDs and the ability to download on Chrome. Um, can you speak a little bit about your company's um, just thoughts on privacy and student privacy, just to help our our faculty understand, you know, when students have issues or just questions around what what goes on with their uh, the privacy or their their data? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so from Proctorio's end, uh, we are a zero knowledge encryption service. Uh, we're completely through Google Chrome. So there's no actual uh, invasive software downloaded onto a device. We're literally just a Chrome extension you can see here. Uh, and also another difference from our end is we don't collect any personal information from the students uh, or from any of our users, actually. We don't have any information that could lead to who they are. On the student side, the tool only connects as you can see here, the extension is not actually firing unless they're on an exam with Proctorio enabled. Otherwise, the extension is idle, not doing anything. So we don't collect any information. We have zero access to the information. The only ones that can view the recordings or see them at all are going to be authorized institutional personnel. Uh, nobody at Proctorio has access to any of this. Uh, it's another really good feature uh, from this Learn More link for students. They can actually also ask any questions here, ask our support, and search through the Help and Support Center to answer any questions that they may have. But Proctorio does not connect, collect any information from our users whatsoever, nor do we want to. Appreciate that. Thank you. Absolutely. Great question. So let's see. So Kamika, do we have more time, or just how do you, how do you want to? I think we probably want to wrap wrap it up so that way we, we can get into our next um, breakout session. Uh, okay. Thank you, Calvin, for for this uh, demo. Um, we've got a couple sessions that are coming up, and Calvin, I don't know if you're going to be able to stay um, in case anybody has uh, questions regarding Proctorio. Um, I also can answer some of those questions since I also use it. I use it in my classes. 
Um, and I can speak to that in one of the sessions. Um, but I wanted to um, go ahead and share uh, my screen, but, but Calvin, thank you for, for your support on that.